worry about their taxes being raised are single people who make more than $200,000 or married people who make more than $250,000. But you know what? Those people are going to make out all right, too. Because when Bill Clinton in 1992 raised taxes on the top 2% of America, they were all upset about it. But five or six years later, they weren't so upset because we raised their taxes $50,000, $60,000 a year, and their net worth increased by $5 million a year because the American economy took off when we had a balanced budget. So, it's incumbent upon all of us to become the truth tellers, all of us to become the messengers. Joe Biden is working his heart out. Barack Obama is crisscrossing this country. They're delivering the message as best they can, but we have to help them in every way, every day, until November 4th. We have to be those message carriers. We've got great candidates. I've had the privilege of knowing Joe Biden for all of the time he's been in public life. He is a terrific person. He cares very deeply about people and about issues. He cares about where your health care is coming from. He cares about if you're going to be able to pay off your mortgage. He cares about credit card debt. He cares about all the things that are important to us. He doesn't care about things that aren't going to affect our lives. He fights for us. He's courageous. He says what he believes. He's knowledgeable. He knows, he's absorbed stuff in his public career and probably is as knowledgeable as anybody. And Barack Obama is a great leader. And he's also a great person. How many of you saw, how many of you saw Barack Obama on David Letterman? Saw him on David Letterman, right? Smart, funny, self-deprecating, all those things. So listen, this race is close in Pennsylvania. We've got our work cut out for us. But every one of us here, myself included, we have to dedicate ourselves the remaining days left between now and the election. Spread the word, get the message out, and let's elect the next Vice President of the United States accompanied by someone who's going to, this country's going to fall in love with, Dr. Jill Biden. I'm going to say a word about her in a second. Let's bring on Dr. Jill Biden and the next Vice President of the United States.